Hi friend. So I just got a little bit of uh, some some thoughts on my mind I want to share with you. If you're uh, if you're going around, you're working for a boss, not a leader, and you're doing the job to pay the bills, but you have a little a uh, burning passion inside you to to do more with your life, to to maybe you have a gift maybe you're a healer maybe uh, maybe you have something you're really good at and you want to give that out to the world you want to uh, you want to share it with more people maybe maybe you're a stress coach and you want to help people so they're not as stressed well it's going to be scary to go out from that from that comfort zone of having a job and a secure income and s such into becoming self-employed. If you if you just jump out into being self-employed, um, ninety-five percent or more, quite a lot of the time, uh, you're going to end up in a scary situation, hoping that you get customers, hoping that everything works out well, and um, and that's not the right way to do it because most of the time when we have this big idea we have inside us and we want to get that out we can't we, we we hope that if we get that out then the customers will come they won't it's uh it's true they won't um there could be a couple of cases where it does happen and that could be, that's really good if that turns out that way but you don't want to leave things up to hope and luck you want to be certain that it's going to work and i don't mean certain as in waiting 10 years before you make the jump i mean you want to have certainty in your decisions uh, that's a whole thing to do with mindset that's a whole nother topic um many people work at a job for a boss not a leader because there's a big difference between the two you could possibly work if let's say you worked at somewhere like lego then then that's a leader that's a leader type of business they they lead their people they have systems and they have things that work and that's why they're so big i've worked for many bosses and i don't think i can even count the leaders on on one hand i think i can only name one leader and uh, and if you're working for someone like that you may not have energy, you may feel drained at the end of the, end of the day, you may come home and, and just need a break from all of that and, and your time at home is, is used on recharging for the next day at work. Work becomes boring, it becomes uninspirational and, and it saps you of all your energy and, and all of your creativity and life that you have in you. There's a way you can do it, you can, you can run your side passion beside your your job you can run it in the evenings and early mornings and weekends and so on and and get that running along to a stage where where you maybe feel that you could quit your job it's going to take a while before that happens in the in most cases so here's a couple of ideas what you could do to make the jump a bit easier on yourself um you could really reduce your costs so that you're living very bare bones like drop the tv subscriptions get rid of your car if you don't need it and and like really scale down and and get yourself a buffer uh, that will last you at least a couple of months another thing you're going to do is you're going to want to become an expert at marketing and sales um marketing and sales are the oxygen of your business and you can't just give that off to a marketing company and hope that it will work um you gotta you gotta know on the inside that it is working you gotta know that you can write texts that will get attention and get your customers you gotta be able to close the if you get customers or or leads people interested in what you do you gotta be able to close those leads you got to be able to turn those leads into customers um there's quite a lot more involved with all of that it's such a small thing but uh but there is many things involved in it and maybe you're going and and you have quite a successful side side business side project and and it's earning some good money and and it could almost support you and maybe all you're missing is the 
the time in the day to make it work better. That could be a possibility. Uh, I had that one stage for myself that I was working for somebody else and it paid my bills, but I earned just as much with my side project, which was building websites and doing website development. And when it comes to that situation, you gotta have um, you got to have some balls uh, to be able to take the jump because if you take the jump and you don't have any more customers then you're going to want to go back to working and you may end up with a feeling a, ba a, burnt, uh, a bad experience that you've burnt your fingers and it may take you five ten more years before you take the jump again if, if, you're, if it burns enough in you so I suggest reading a bit on, on the terror barrier um, and making decisions uh, and and learning a bit about mindset because that's something that really helped me last year uh, when I when I started learning about mindset I learned all this stuff I have it up here and I'd love to share it with you but I just don't feel that I'm I know enough to, to help you guys yet even though I have studied for two hours every single day last year um, and been through courses worth you know tens of thousands of dollars um, I have learned that taking those big scary jumps, I'm not so bad at them. That's one of my strengths that I have from my childhood growing up in Australia where we traveled around a lot. Um, so that, that, that's one of my strengths, but I have other weaknesses of course. We all do have our own strengths and weaknesses at different levels. And I just wanted to share that with you today. I hope that you have a great day and thank you for your time watching.